What is going on you guys? This is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and I'm super excited for this video because we're going to be creating the famous TikTok RGB cloud ceiling lights. Oh my god, I covered the entire ceiling of my studio with stuffing and RGB lights. So I'm going to be showing you guys the process of this, the step by step on how to do this, the stuff that you would need. So I'm going to have everything linked down in the description below so that you guys can go check it out to see exactly what I was using to create this. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys, so before we get started, I do want to mention all the stuff that I use for this project. So first, I just want to mention that my studio is about 13 feet by 12 feet. So it's a 13 by 12 uh, room. And for this, I use about 20 pounds of stuffing. So I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description below so that you guys can go check it out. I had about 20 pounds of stuffing. I used only about 15 pounds of it, but basically a majority of it was needed for this. I also used three cans of spray adhesive. I used three different models. I would say my favorite is the Gorilla Glue one. This one was the one that sticked on the most. These two were good, but they started to fall off certain pieces. So that really sucked. I used about one 100 foot uh, roll of paper. This was very beneficial, so I wouldn't damage the ceiling that much or anything like that. And then to basically mount the paper, I used a staple gun. So very simple, nothing too crazy. I used a couple of those staples. Um, you could get most of these at like Home Depot, stuff like that. You could get like a roll of paper on Home Depot. This I got from Amazon, the spray he says I got from Home Depot, the staple gun I got from Home Depot. And the major thing is I got two Govi RGB IC LED light strips. So these two, each box is about 32 feet. So about total of 65 foot of LED light strips, which is honestly insane. And I went for the RGB IC versions because they create the nice rainbow effect instead of creating static, in, uh, static colors. So I wanted to do some cool scene modes, some cool effects, all of that. So Govi is the way to go, definitely the way to go. So each uh, box comes with two rolls of 16 foot totaling to about 32 feet. So I used about two of these, which totaled to about 65 foot. But that is basically all the stuff that we use and that's basically the dimension of my studio. So keep that in mind. If you guys are gonna be working on this, determine how much stuffing you guys would need for your type of room. If you're gonna be doing the whole ceiling or if you're only gonna do certain sections and the amount of spray adhesives, I definitely recommend wearing a mask for because you're gonna be inhaling a lot of this and have a bunch of fans on during this process as well and then how much uh, LED light strips you're going to be needing and how many rolls of paper you're going to be needing as well. All right, but without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I needed to do was cover the ceiling with the paper so I don't damage the wall that much. You could use cardboard, but I decided to go with a paper roll because it's still thick enough to protect the wall and it's super cheap for what you get. I got a two pack roll of 100 foot totaling to 200 feet for only 16 bucks. I didn't even need to use the second roll, but I got it just in case. So I started to apply the paper with the staple gun and made sure that the majority of the ceiling was covered. It doesn't have to be perfect and since it's paper, it's easy to cut the size that you need to and easy to cut around certain things like the smoke alarm. Once that's all done, it's time to apply the light strips and this was the easiest because the strips already have adhesive on it so it just sticks onto the paper. Each roll is over 16 feet and each box equal to 32 feet and I used two of them totaling to over 65 feet. I tried to do some zigzags and curves to make sure it covered a majority of the ceiling and I applied the second pack on the opposite side of the first one and I worked my way to the middle. Now it's time to apply the stuffing onto the ceiling. The best way I found out is to spray the adhesive onto the stuffing first and then mount it onto the ceiling. Grab pieces, flatten it a bit and spread it out so it's not too thick but you can mix and mess around a bit and really get those cloud shapes and then spray and then start to apply one by one. This part was the most time consuming and messiest. I definitely recommend using gloves to protect your hands and to put something over your stuff because if you're spraying, some of it lands on the tabletop and peripherals and leaves a textured residue. I unfortunately didn't cover any of my gear so I needed to wipe down everything after and use some goo gone to get rid of the stickiness too. But now you are finally finished and everything looks great. Now I really want to show you guys the app of the Govi light strips and what you could really do since these are also RGB IC light strips, meaning that they don't just do static colors, but also crazy scenes and effects. So jumping into the app, you could start off by doing static colors to the lights, like for example blue and red, and change each part to other colors and dim them as well. But the really cool part of the app is the scene tab. Here we could use many of the presets that the app offers, like for example the meteor shower, the lightning and this one's my favorite because it really makes it look like clouds. 
You could give off a fire kind of effect. You can also do a siren slash police effect, which I think is really dope. And then you can also do some really cool effects like stacking where you can see the strip slowly building up. You could even have the light strip sync and go to the beat of some music using the built-in speakers of the light strip or from your phone. And lastly, you can even create your own scene and choose the colors and what you want it to do and change the speeds. There's really a lot when it comes to using this app. All right, you guys, so here is the final result. We got the RGB cloud ceiling lights all installed and you guys saw all the scenes that we are able to do with the RGB light strips from Govi. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are gonna be doing any style of incorporation to this, if you guys are gonna be installing it in the ceiling like what I did, or if you guys are actually gonna be putting it on the wall and create your own style. Uh, I've seen a lot of different styles of it. They put it on the corner style. Uh, or they create their own actual shape, like a natural cloud, and put some RGB lights. I think that was really dope. I've actually had these RGB cloud ceiling lights set up for about two weeks now and messing around with them. And I've gotten some comments like, what about spiders? Are they gonna crawl up in there and stuff like that? So far, I haven't uh, seen anything as far as that goes. I haven't had any issues when it comes to insects or flies or anything when it comes to spiders. Uh, I did spray something to prevent ants, roaches, and spiders for up to eight weeks. So maybe that's also helping it as well. And usually I keep the studio nice and cool. So I tend to maintain it really well. And I will say that some of the pieces do fall here and there as well. So you guys gotta also maintain it here and there, uh, reapply some spray adhesives, or I, use, I also even use a staple gun just to like keep it on it for the most part. And it's actually been working really well. As far as for other comments, like this is like a fire hazard, this could cause fires and stuff like that. Same thing, I haven't really had that issue. I usually keep the studio nice and cool and these LED lights don't produce so much heat as long as you get really nice high quality LED light strips, they don't really produce that much heat for it to really start a fire or anything like that. So same thing, I haven't had any issues and regardless, I don't have these lights on all the time. So I don't have them on 24 seven in order for it to produce a lot of heat uh, to cause a fire. So. I haven't really had an issue like that, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, please let me know, and everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!